welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll look into a scenario in which we continue our alternate future of the world series. Alternate history of Europe series. Yeah. With Norway getting a democratic, having a democratic government, some country tries to detest this by getting a nor a revolt within Norway, a communist revolt. Because right now it's communist versus democracy. We don't have much ideologies. But there probably will be more. This is like probably, the next few episodes will probably be building up to a big conflict in Europe. Probably. But you know, that could take a long time. That could take 50 episodes. With the communist fighters having support from some country. In which Norway can't identify. But the green team is supporting them. But then Norway states that it's Russia supporting these rebels. With Finland saying, how is that possible? They would have to get through my lands. And Norway says, yeah, they're going through the water. But, yeah. With Norway in trouble. But luckily for Norway, a Swedish intervention happens. Britain even sends forces. And everybody in the green team is sending forces. Which Russia is starting to state is not right. So Russian allies start supporting Russia. Which almost pushes them back. But the two big powers would likely be this guy and that guy are powers. Likely these guys are also powers. Luckily, no real colonization has happened. But this big pushback, within months they're all the way back. And no, this is not supposed to be a replica of the Korean War. With their capital of Oslo being taken. With, with Sweden and Denmark and Britain, Scotland, Germany, and in the North African Union, and Arab Union starting to send forces. And Israel is becoming powerful because they don't have enemies. And well, quickly the capital comes when Sweden takes a second intervention with even more forces. Well, that's seeming like a ceasefire is possible. With Norway being defeated in the ceasefire, but not end the war. Hi guys, we continue the war as Norway starts pushing the People's Republic of Norway back with Finland quickly intervening in the north. And well, they quickly find lots of Russian forces and capture a few, but they quickly are put to an agreement where they have to give up their captures with Norway thanking Finland and Sweden and everyone. And Norway says, can we join the alliance? Which they basically say yes. But with a lot of Yugoslavians discontented with, well, Russian rule, well, in the north, a democratic group declares in the Quickly, support of the democratic alliance goes to the Democratic Republic of Yugoslavia. As Yugoslavia, the communists, declare war on the Democrat reformer. Democratic reformers, yeah. Democratic reformers. Yeah, that's what they declare war on. With the democratic forces in the beginning having a bit of an upper hand in this war, with them um, moving in out of towards out from Sarviego. But unfortunately Serbia gets some support in this region helping them take it. And then in this region somebody helps them take it. As they move in. 
with Montenegro putting its support right behind the Serbian region. But the Albanian region slash Kosovan region and Vojvodina do not want to fight this war. No. Might be the downfall of the democratic Yugoslavia as the Albanians and the Vojvodinians quickly being brought into this war. Vojvodina will be represented by this color and the Albanians will be represented by this color. With it being clear to Yugoslavia, well, this is going to be hard. With with uh, Croatians in the Croatian region of democratic Yugoslavia pushing into some of the Bosnian regions. They think that the only way to have true peace is to unite them under democracy. Which some of the minorities might see as a threat. With Albania moving in to quickly get a peace treaty once they start threatening Belgrade, Serbia allows them to have independence. But they demand some lands. Which which has Albanians. Not as erratic as the first time they decide to take some lands from Montenegro. But they take some from Montenegro and some in this region from Serbia. Which got heavily populated with them when they occupied Montenegro, these lands. Not a uh, over ask of lands, but this is like Kosovo. I, I used an Albanian flag because uh, it the Albanian flag. With these guys, democratic. And now it appears that Albania is now split in two. With them quickly joining the green team. They didn't join with their ethnic lands because they're also democratic. So there's a best split between both of them. With Croatia crossing the border into Serbia again. And explain how? Well, they just do. The communists managed to split Croatia in two after crossing the mountainous Croatia. I think Croatia has mountains, if I'm not mistaken. With the communist pact intervening, but to no avail. Bulgaria is careful not to start a big war. And then quickly they start sending in peacekeeping forces. They claim it's the Green Team peacekeepers. Which move in. With a lot of Albanians starting to detest communist control and they quickly declare independence after a coup. And what color should we use for these peacekeeping forces? I think a color like this is good. And well, quickly this is where Yugoslavia starts to have severe problems in the war. But they demand lands. Let's see, what do they demand? Well, they demand a small corridor, guys, but they demand a small amount of land, guys, but there's a problem. With Yugoslavia not wanting to give up all these lands. So they start to come to compromises. One of the first ones is something like this. With the northern part of this being annexed. But Serbia goes in and says for the third deal. Something more like they keep these lands. Basically, it's much smaller than what they wanted. 
But they still agree because they're tired of fighting. Yugoslavia also can't fight them. Yugoslavia is on their knees at this point, guys. Not really great, but Yugoslavia is 100% on its knees. With collapse imminent, they start falling back as a lot of the military ditches fighting for them. And well, planes are starting to get developed, especially by the democratic ones and the communists, which allow them to bombard each other. With Yugoslavia going on to the tactic of destroying that country, quickly becoming non-communist. And the encirclement of here. Well, Tito never came the prominence in this communist Yugoslavia, mostly because, well, there hasn't, wait, yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Because if he did, this wouldn't have happened. So maybe he didn't. I don't know. With the democratic free, free forces now free, with the Albanians in the South declaring the Republic of Albania, which the Republic of Kosovo and Albania decide it's time to unite. Which, now let's see what the peace treaty deal says. With many in the... Many of the people in the Moscow Pact do not like this. And, well, this shows a weakness. Which Russia now swears to invade any countries that try to change. Not really well off after a war. Voritravinia decides along with Yugoslavia to join it. But for some reason in Romania, some person is elected who wishes for change. And well, him and the people start a revolt against Romania. With Russia not concerned yet, and the world thinks what they said was a naked threat now. And yeah, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. With Russia still thinking the Romanians can crush these rebels, but it turns out it's much worse than, he, than they thought. Evrei joins a revolt in government against the Russians. But the Russians now arm Hungary, Austria, Czechoslovakia with a major invasion into the democratic Romania. And then moving in from Hungary, Czechoslovakia, and Moldova. Now, this being what's predicted to be the end of Romania resistance. Well, the Russian forces starting an aerial campaign against Romanian strategic targets. And some of them land in unfortunate places. But nobody really knows this because we're not at the technology age of the series yet. And now that will be a big deal. Well, we technically are in a technological age, with them moving in towards the government and knocking out these protesters. With them meeting with the Hungarian and Czechoslovakian Austrian governments over a potential peace treaty. With there being no neutral countries besides Switzerland, but Romania right now is technically... With Bulgaria unable to get Dubarovia. And well, Hungary makes a bit of an erratic plan of annexation, which, which fortunately for them is accepted. But 
But they decide when to end instead, so there's no weird border. And then they say you can go down to your Hungarian lands. Because I'm also saying, well, I'll second less, just in case Romania does revolt again. But this being the final drop of the treaty. Wanna see what it looks like, guys? Wanna see it get erased? Well, I'll see. And you can say in the comments, you'd rather see it get erased or me stop recording and then erase the borders. And well, this does slow it down a bit, but not significantly. If it's like every a treaty, then yeah, I need to stop it, like at the end of the war. Now this making Romania never revolt again, hopefully, is what the Russians hope. With the Russians deciding to take some of the coastal lands here. And... And they extend their border out into the Moldovan region. With Czechoslovakia gaining a bit of land. And while this is what is the final draft after this war. This is like a cold war. The cold war has now shown that the West should not be infiltrating. With Russia deciding to make a German puppet government and France deciding to make a Rhineland puppet. But when they do that, they just... Let's see what... When the Sireland is annexed by France. But they also see it as aggressive making them puppets. Which... The Russians will try to infiltrate. But this is a small corridor, so... The Get Democratic Alliance plan for if a war does break out is first to color should we use for this? Oh yeah, let's use brown. Their first plan for if there's a war is to do this. One of their cut this off. And another one of their plans is to soar in that way. And fly over the Rhineland, basically. And then they plan to attack Russia, going into Ukraine. That's their plan. They plan to go right into Ukraine. And they also plan to come up from Bulgaria. But during this, they plan to have Turkey take all these islands, and Albania, Bulgaria, and Yugoslavia to start there, with Hungary getting invaded, and Czechoslovakia getting raided, but they're also going to fund rebels in Czechoslovakia. But them planning to invade Italy from the south, east. France, they plan to invade from four fronts, and then eventually from Italy, guys. With Germany moving this way, and Britain moving this way. With this being an idea, they also plan to move up into the north. And that's just our plan for, like, the first phase. And there, but that's, like, the first two phases more so. Phase one, and then phase two, phase two, phase three, phase two, two, phase three, three. And then what's phase four you may be asking? Well, a Finnish invasion. And now to keep the phases more organized... Let's color them in. Phase one will be blue. What will happen in phase one will be blue. With a Turkish invasion here. And with this being part of phase one and this. Phase one will include this, 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 and that. Phase two will be colored in pink, and this will be a part of it, this, this, and this. This will be a part of it, and then phase Finland is a phase two, just to let you guys know. And that's how their plan is. If I figure out what the other team's plan is, I'll tell you. 
Well, what I think their plan is to... Their plan is to widen the gap that can easily be seized, right? By invading into Germany, Poland, and Yugoslavia. Then they plan to move here because there are strong nations there. And then Finland, they plan to just let, take all this land and then push them out. Which will never happen, I have to tell you guys. And I can't think of what else to do in this video. Why? Because I think we should save it for part 11. And that's pretty much all. So you should please subscribe. We're how many subscribers away? 53 away from 200. And well, it's February 11th. So we need to hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And well, please like, subscribe, and comment. That's all for today's video, pretty much. But can you please comment? Like, I like reading your comments and responding. I respond to your comments. Because I think it's the nice thing to do. Whether you're just being, trying to put me down or put me up, I will answer. I don't really care what your comment is. Just comment. Because I'll still answer. Unless it's something erratic. Too erratic. So... Please like and subscribe. That's pretty much all for today's video. That's all for today's video, guys. Wild Mapper out.